Saturday Night Live, Will Ferrell reprises George W. Bush to skewer Trump. George W. Bush is back in the Oval Office at least on Saturday Night Live. Will Ferrell, who hosted Saturday Night's show, made a triumphant return to the SNL stage, reviving his popular impression of the past president. In the show's cold open, Farrell delivered a message to America from Bush's Oval Office which he joked he constructed in his basement. I know what you're thinking, what the heck is the handsome devil doing back in the Oval Office? The truth is this is just a set. I had it built in my basement in Texas so I could pretend to be still be president sometimes, said Farrell as Bush. Farrell's Bush then went on to talk about the current president, who he dubbed Donnie Q. Trump. According to a new poll, my approval is at an all-time high, he said, pointing out that he's suddenly popular AF. Donnie Q. Trump came in and suddenly I'm looking pretty sweet by comparison. At this rate I might even end up on Mount Rushmore, right next to Washington, Lincoln, and I want to say Kensington. Addressing all the people who say they wish he still was president, Farrell's Bush said, I just wanted to remind you guys I was really bad like historically not good, he said. Don't forget, we're still in two different wars that I started. What has two thumbs and created ISIS? This guy. He also had a few words for Vice President Mike Pence, comparing him to Dick Cheney, his VP. Some say Mike Pence is heartless. But remember Dick Cheney was literally heartless, he said. At this point, it's just Legos in there. Although Farrell's Bush said he voted for Jill Stein, he said he does feel bad for Donnie. We have a lot in common, we're both the exact same age, even though I was president like 40 years ago, he said. We both won the election despite losing the popular vote. Though back in my day we didn't let Russians rig our elections we used the Supreme Court like Americans. The biggest difference between him and Trump, said Farrell as Bush, is that people actually like me, he said. Everyone in his own cabinet hates him, referencing the Michael Wolff book, which he called Fire and Furbies. Then Leslie Jones joined him, playing Candy Rice armed with popcorn for their movie night. Can you believe it got snubbed at the Oscars again, complained Farrell's Bush about Minions, his favorite movie. The two then broke into song, reminiscing about the good old days, to the tune of Those Were the Days, the All in the Family theme song. Everybody knew their place. Cheney shot a guy in the face. Those were the days. The housing market went to hell. Nazis kept it to themselves. Ben Laden was alive and well. Those were the days. Farrell, who was a cast member from 1995 to 2002, has hosted the show three times the last time in 2015. Country music star Chris Stapleton was the musical guest.